Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm George and today we're going to cover fishing for striped bass, bluefish, and occasionally false albacore during the day with lures. We're going to cover my favorites as well as the different scenarios I use them in. I use mostly topwater and bucktails to cover the bottom, so we're going to go over those two strategies as well. And if you're new, this video will help you understand how to approach these three species during the day without using any bait. These are all my personal favorite lures. This is my honest opinion. I'm not sponsored. Ain't no company gonna pay to put a product in front of 20 people anyway. So let's get started. The first lure we're going to cover is the pencil popper. There's three brands I like to carry. I carry them in three relative different sizes, small, medium, large. So the first one I have here is the Guppy Senior. This is one of the larger pencils available. I think it's north of three ounces, something like nine inches. And I prefer these along with my other pencils, poppers and spooks in either white, yellow, or orange. White because it's just an all around good time, good daytime color. Yellow because the primary bait in my area in Rhode Island for most of the season is bunker or peanut bunker, and y'all does a good job of imitating them. And sometimes I'll go with something like neon orange because if the bluefish are going nuts, they seem to really key in on that, and it seems to get a lot of strikes. So speaking of bluefish, if I'm using this and I'm getting a lot of hits from bluefish, or if I just need a smaller profile, for both of those scenarios, I like to go down to the mid-size tsunami talking popper. This one, very hard bodied, and again, same color idea. This one's more of a Wonder Bread. It was a gift, so I use it anyway. And this one holds up to bluefish quite well. Um, it'll get a lot of scarring on it, but it won't fall apart. Not fall apart, but it won't, it won't take as much damage as a wooden plug from, you know, repetitive bluefish hits or strikes, especially when you get into blues that are over like 10 pounds. You really don't want that on your wooden plugs. And then after the tsunami, uh, we have the cotton cordel. Um, this one is about an ounce. The cotton cordel and the tsunami, you can load both of them for further cast if you need to. I haven't really felt the need to do that yet when I'm using pencils or surface lures during the day, um, using usually a 30 pound braid. So it casts fairly well. But like I said, if you want to load these to get some further distance, you can. And this one, it's lighter, it's thinner. So sometimes if they're keyed in on a smaller profile bait, this will get the job done when they're kind of ignoring the other two. The next lure we're gonna cover are spooks. Now, there are three sizes I'll carry with these as well. The larger ones like the dock. Um, unfortunately, I lost my middle one in between in the beginning of the season, I was, fishing around sunset, working it back in, and I had a gull fly right through my line and just cut it, so that was the end of that one. So I have two to show you now. And then the smaller one's a Yozuri. I actually fished this one on a 10-foot rod, which for a lure this size is a little mismatched. I wouldn't recommend doing that. But the fish still, almost every day that I took that thing out and fished, even if there was no action, even though the rod was mismatched, the fish would still hit it. So I bought this like halfway through the summer and it's never left my bag since. The larger size spook, I got this one towards the end of this past season. So I didn't really get to use it much. So I had the mid-sized one, the smaller dock. I think it's the seven inch dock. There was a peanut bunker blitz the end of 2018 season. And it was the fall run, so it's just moving by and going back and forth, and then you get a few shots at it and it would take off again. And my friend and I were throwing pencil poppers at it, and they just weren't really hitting the pencils for some reason, which is kind of weird during a blitz. But I had the mid-sized dock, well, the smaller dock, mid-sized spook, and I was throwing that and they were hitting it almost every cast. There were a couple of times where it would just touch down and I'd go to reel in the slack to start working it, and there'd already be a fish on it. So it was great for that. And next we have poppers. I keep it really simple with these. It's all super strike. Um, I have their small and medium sized poppers. I get them both in the slow sinking models. 
I'll probably be trying the fast sinking model this summer. It's heavier, it gets you a little more distance. This past season, I actually used something a little unconventional when I needed the extra distance. I'll show that later in the video. But for now, um, we just have these two. This is the medium sized two and three eighths ounce model. And this is the smaller one and a half ounce model. Same as the Spooks and the Pencil Poppers. I'm either gonna have them in yellow, white, or neon orange. And one of my favorite things about this brand is that all their lures are hard plastic, so I don't have to worry about bluefish destroying them. And next we have Bucktails. And for the first probably like four years that I was fishing, like it seems like a lot of guys, I was a little intimidated about using these during the day or using them at all for that matter. When I had first started, I would buy one here and there because I heard about them or I'd see guys on YouTube using them, catching a lot of fish, and I'd just lose it on the rocks because I didn't really know what I was doing. I started using them at night, like a few seasons ago, them and mostly like larger jigs, and I'd bounce those off the bottom and I started catching fish, so that gave me the confidence to grab a few more of them and test them out during the day. These... I uh, will mostly fish them off the bottom. You could you can fish them fast and cover like near the top of the water column, but I'll use my other plugs for that. Now, there were plenty of times where I was in an area where there was a great topwater bite or there had previously been a great topwater bite and either we were catching a lot of fish on the surface or and it died or we had been in previous days and it seemed like there were no longer any fish there. And I saw a lot of guys using topwater at that point point. they weren't really getting hit. So I threw a bucktail on and bounced it off the bottom and it was like every other cast I was getting hit. So it was great to have these to fall back on when the top water bite was off. Another thing I like about bucktails is it lets me recycle some of my old lures from earlier in the season. I really like the zoom flukes in this color and in white. And I start most of my fishing seasons fishing for pickerel and largemouth bass around end of March, early April. I'm up here in Rhode Island. And I'll get about a month of that in and catch a couple of bass on these or a couple of pickerel and where the freshwater bass hook sits way in the back on here it'll start to tear and i can't use it with that setup anymore it just slides up the line but i can take it off that and save all my old ones from bass fishing and once the stripers come around beginning of may throughout the rest of the season i'll take all my old freshwater zoom flukes and throw them in the back of my bucktails for daytime or nighttime use which allows me to save some money by repurposing my damaged soft plastics. So out of all the lures that this video covers, this one by itself has made the biggest difference in the amount of fish I catch. But since I've been using these more during the day, I've noticed guys either commenting around me that they refuse to use them or some guys struggling with them. So comment your bucktail stories below if you use them frequently, tell me about it. And if you don't use them at all, let me know why. And lastly, we have tins. These are pretty much just distance lures for me. I don't use them much. I'll have them on me mostly in the fall for the false albacore. And also in the fall as the blitzes are moving close and far away quickly, it's nice to be able to switch to something that casts really far so I don't have to wait an hour for them to get back within range. This is a deadly dick, which is the one that I carry most often. And if I'm looking for a different profile, I'll switch to a cast master. This past summer, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I used something a little bit different just because I wanted to try it. During the day, I was fishing my bucktails with the trailers that I mentioned earlier, and they were getting destroyed by the bluefish. Bucktails are one of the lures in this video that bluefish, after a while, they just have to rip the hairs off of them. So I figured I'd switch to something else, and I opted for, it's called a stubby needlefish. Um, I went with Super Strikes model. It's about I'm probably gonna mess this up. It's somewhere around three inches and somewhere around two and a half ounces. But it casts extremely far, maybe even farther than these tins. And I just threw it way, way out there to the bluefish blitz and just kind of darted it back in. A similar retrieve you'd use on almost like a popper, like you'd reel and pull back, but because of the shape of it, it would dart side to side in the water. And that allowed me to reach the school when my other lures weren't quite making it. That wraps up my daytime essentials. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also comment if you have a favorite daytime lawyer that I left out and I'll see you next week.